what would you say each other's superpowers are? Mm. You're gonna have to be nice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, congratulations on the show. Um, I wanted to start by asking you both. Um, when you get told you have an audition for a new Netflix fantasy drama series, it must be pretty exciting. Um, can you remember what you had to do in your audition? Yeah, mm. I had the scene um, where Annalise and Nathan walk through the woods as my first audition scene when she's like, he's like, you think I have attractive qualities? And I go, shut up. Um, <laughs> And yeah, it was quite intimidating because they sent through the first script with the audition. And I remember reading it quicker than I've ever read anything in my life and just thinking, this is really something special and I really want to be a part of this. So I kind of put a bit of pressure on myself, but it all worked out all right. Yeah. <laughs> you got the job. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> my first scene was with Celia in the car. Uh, Celia being like, your sister hates you, oh, doesn't hey, she? that was your audition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I was cool. like, yeah, yeah, she does, mate. Yeah, I got that. Um, they still hadn't worked out who Annalise was. So then once I had it, I spoke to Colm. Colm was like, we got Nadia Parks. And I'd met Nadia Park. I'd met Nadia two years before because we went for this indie film together. And I was like, oh, she'd be good, you know. And then after that, yeah, no, I had it then. And then they didn't believe that I could be angry. That's what it was. They really wanted to believe that I could be angry. So then, because I was too, I was too cheeky. I was too cheeky. And they're like, okay, he's got the funny bit. But um, then it was a, a scene with uh, my, my dad. And that was like the moment where they were like, okay, cool. We'll give it to him. How has this year been for you? Because obviously you starred in one of the biggest movies of the year, The Batman, and now you're starring in a new Netflix fantasy drama. So how has this year been for you? Well, <laughs> how's it been for you? <laughs> I, you know what, it's been really great, man. Like, I'm, yeah, I just feel really fortunate, if I'm honest. Bastard Son, I didn't expect how amazing it would be, you know, if that wasn't with the crew or the cast. I just love when people are really passionate about what they do. And every day we were on set for The Bastard Son, everyone wanted to be the best in the scene and that was collaborative as well. I mean, with the Batman, I mean, that was ages ago now when I think about it. You know, I, I did it in my first year of acting and that was at the end uh, of that first year. And it was really mad getting that because I remember just keeping, I kept on calling my agent like, are, are you sure like this is going on? Like this is mad and okay. yeah. But that's, that's what's also great because you do a job like that and I felt really naive on that set and you feel really vulnerable because you're in this massive set and you don't really know what to do. And then you, you push it to now where I am at and yeah, it's, it's just really nice actually. Obviously Jessica is a shapeshifter. Um, if you could shapeshift into anyone in the world, who would it be? Are they alive? Anyone you want. They can be alive or dead, preferably alive, but it's, it's up to you, man. Do you know what I said? I said Beyonce before, and then I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, as if I could handle Beyonce's life. But you get, do you get the talent as well? Like, if you turn into Beyonce, can you all of a sudden yeah, do this just... really good? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, can you? Yeah, and people are like, can we have a new album? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But then you could probably sing because you'd have the voice. Hey. Oh. Yeah, I can't think of who would be a really good, because I think it comes with a lot of problems. I'd like to know if you get all of their like insecurities as well. You think being uh, Beyonce comes with a lot of problems? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, I don't think it's true. Who I'd turn into? Maybe like Justin Bieber or something. Why Justin Bieber? I don't know, I feel like that'd be pretty fun. I that is a collaboration I want to see. And he can kind of dance, you know what I mean? We could be Yante and Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Yante and Justin on the beat. Chameleon. <laughs> uh, Ryan Gosling. Oh, great answer. <laughs> okay, well, I'll counter that and say Margot Robbie. There we oh, go. And then we, and then oh, we, we can do, just the, do, do the movie. Barbie film. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Such a good movie we did together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was in character. I was like, yeah, it's not out yet, Amelia. <laughs> yeah, we had such a good time, didn't we? <laughs> Emilian, I wanted to ask you, your yeah. character, Gabriel, he's, he's so cool. Did you base him on anyone from pop culture at all? Ah, good question. Good, good, good question. Isn't it? Yeah, pop culture. I think, no, I think I, I, I made it uh, by, I think, you know, I, I really 
tried to to put the what was in the script. I really focused on what was in the script and just having fun with the lines, with the sarcastic, with the sar sarcasm and the, the cynical uh, side of it. But if you want to talk about the look in general, I think um, it, you can say there is a resemblance with um, Lost Boys, the Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's what there I was this vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting Kiefer Sutherland vibes, yeah. Exactly, so, oh. so that's kind of the, um, I think, a vibe that we can say, like the Hannah Edwards, the costume oh, designer. she was amazing. She was amazing. She gave me so many good necklaces and... Mm. <laughs> I love that. Love have you that. have you kept any of the costume? Yeah, I kept my uh, Blood Witch earring. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a, a special Blood Witch. Isabel, I, I really hope you don't mind me saying this, but your character is horrible in this show. <laughs> yes. It must have been so much fun playing the role of Jessica because there must be so much you can do with her. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think she's so, her sense of humour is so wicked and so deliciously mean. And I think <laughs> there's also something quite empowering about playing, particularly like a female who's so unapologetic about what she is. Um, and I think like the complexities of the character as well was something that I really loved. Like I think she's quite a complicated person. I think there's a lot going on psychologically. Um, but yeah, oh my God, like she's got some amazing takedowns of people. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Do you have a favorite line? Oh my gosh. What there, are, a... there are plenty. Um, my, yeah, well, okay, don't quote me on this, which is exactly what you're here to do. <laughs> I, one of my favorite lines, I never got to say, but I like uh, daddy issues. I can give you daddy issues. <laughs> you want to talk about daddy issues? I can give you daddy issues. Gabriel has so many iconic and fun lines in the show. Um, do you have a favorite one that like really sticks out? Ooh, that's a good question. There's Yeah, they're really nice lines. Um, I think one of my favorites is, um, uh, it's like in the apartment when he says like, uh, can you believe this motherfuckers? Oh yeah. First, they destroy my apartment and now they want me to lay in the floor. My favorite of yours is the one that was in that teaser, which is like, for the sake of oh, trans yeah, fucking yeah, parents yeah. Yeah, Sorry, cool... I'm doing oh, your accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was quite good. That's how I sound. Yeah. Okay. So Nadia, Annalise's life changes forever when she gets her powers. Um, so I wanted to know what's been the biggest change in your life since you landed the show? Oh, wow. Um, what's been the biggest change in my life? I think, you know, doing the show just just changed everything for me um, because I met a group of people that I love so dearly. I got to work with some of the most talented people that I've ever met. And, um, you know, it's just given me a lot of kind of confidence and excitement. Mm. And um, Are you guys ready to be stopped on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> I'm not sure. Actually. actually, this morning we went to see the posters in South Kensington Tube and um, people already stopped you by your poster, didn't they? Yeah, but Oscar it was poster. just because they were like, they didn't know anything they about the know, show. They didn't know, but like... They were from Spain, was... so they were like, oh, maybe, <laughs> cool. maybe he's famous here. Maybe he's famous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're huge in Spain, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And finally, um, Obviously, in the show, you all get to know each other's superpowers. Uh, and I thought it'd be nice to end on a really wholesome note. So I was wondering, what would you say each other's superpowers are? You're going to have to be nice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think... I think you're actually very charming. <laughs> I actually mean that. I think she's like, it's more subtle. But she's actually very charming that's, when you talk to her. That's the that's, nicest thing you've ever said I to me. I know, I know, but it is that. Look at us bonding. You're giving us therapy. You have a great charm. I like that. I was going to say, you're you're very... I honestly think your performance in this show is incredible. Like, and doing scenes... You're doing this. No, like, doing scenes with you, like, I'll never forget when we did that first scene when I sh shapeshift for the first time. And like seeing your reaction, I was like, whoa. I was like, I gotta raise my game. <laughs>
Man, thank you. Oh Look at God. that. I know. God, it's such a shame that I have to go. That was so lovely. Um, <laughs> I can also vouch for that as well. You are incredible in this show, Jay. Um, so congratulations, oh, guys. Um, lovely talking to you both. And uh, congratulations on the show. Don't forget to talk to you again. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.